Hello everyone, welcome. I'm going to give you some tips and pointers of how to find your inner strength during challenging situations. Let me first list off the five points. Number one, giving meaning and finding purpose. Number two, being mindful of your negative and repetitive thoughts and replacing them with positive affirmations. Number three, practicing gratitude. Number four, acting on your passion and excitement when you can. And number five, meditation. All right, so let's go over point number one. This is inspired by Viktor Frankl, his book, Man's Search for Meaning. And basically he says, at the moment, uh, suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment, uh, at the moment it finds meaning. So there's one thing we have a choice, and that's not the external, but it's the attitude and the way we respond to what happens. You always have a choice of how you respond. So Viktor Frankl, he's a psychologist, and he's a Holocaust survivor. And he saw and studied people in the Holocaust when they're in prison camps. And he basically ended up developing this theory and healing uh, modality, which basically is in finding purpose and meaning through whatever is happening in your life. Uh, like a simple example, someone who is in the Holocaust who would think of how when they get out, how they're going to play piano or learn the instrument or play the concerts they used to play. He himself wants to rewrite his manuscript that got destroyed. So you give yourself a goal, a purpose, set your attitude. This is the one thing you do have control. Um, so go check him out for, to be more in depth. He has a book. I'm sure you can find YouTube videos that go more in depth. The second one is being mindful of your negative thoughts. So simply watch the negative thoughts you have throughout the day and start to list them, write them down. And you're probably going to notice it's a handful of the same thoughts you're thinking over and over again. And what you want to do is once you have the list of the repetitive negative thoughts, then you can uh, write the counterpart to those th thoughts. So if you, ha if you think, oh, I don't have time to do these things, the counterpart was, is, I have time to do all the things I love and enjoy. And every, any, so pick one of, the, one of the negative thoughts, and then throughout the day, whenever it pops up, become conscious of it. Oh, there's that thought again. And then think of the counterpart. And eventually, one thought at a time, you can start changing your mentality. Number three, is gratitude, finding things to appreciate and be grateful for. The more you practice this, the more you're going to be able to shift into a positive state and find things to appreciate in life. And there's a meditation on a link through the HeartMath Institute that you can do. Number four, acting on your passion and excitement when you can. When you do that, when you're acting in your passion and excitement, you're more in line with your true self. And when you kind of do these things and you let go of thinking about the problems, when you feel better, happier, but I find it also helps you line up with the, with the solution. It helps you bring you closer to the solution when you're actually trusting your gut feeling and acting through your heart. And you, you're basically trusting your own guidance system. I see following your passion as a guidance system of what steps you take in your life. And it's just another way just to instantly start to feel better because you're doing something that you love. Number five is meditation. And it's just an, a tool that you can use that helps you center, ground yourself, and let go of the strength. And I'll sl uh, link up some uh, resources in the bio for each one of these points. I hope you found this helpful. Remember the quote, suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment it finds meaning so you can give whatever happens in your life meaning such as this is happening for a positive reason whatever is happening is going to take me towards my destiny um, your attitude sets your latitude and Nietzsche says he who has a way to live he who has a way a why to live for can bear almost any how so it's really all in our mind. It's all in our perspective. It's on our attitude. And uh, I hope this gives you strength. And uh, keep carrying on. See you until next time.